What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel in another video. Today I am using a lot of natural colors here. I'm going for a stone look if I can accomplish that. I want to continue this series with the airbrush uh, embellishments. This is a 14 by 14 canvas. I have uh, white and gray mixed together. This was a gray color. I mixed maybe one part of this gray to about four parts of white and got this really nice neutral gray. Then we have Artist Loft Silver, Titanium White. I also mixed up some unbleached titaniums just for little sporadic highlights here and there. All the colors were mixed with Artist Loft Pouring Medium at two parts pouring medium to one part paint. There's no silicone in this, but I do want to show you this really interesting new oil that I found. Same, same brand, right? OGX. This is Argan Oil of Morocco. It has the same ingredient that creates the cells as this coconut milk does, but it's water thin. So I can mist cells onto the surface. And I think I'm going to do that with this one here to kind of break it up a little bit and create some more of a stone look to it. But let's go. <laughs> How's everybody doing today? I hope everybody's doing really good. I'm having a great day. Right now, I'm just going to layer my colors. I'm going to be very, very careful with this dark gray like this. It was actual uh, gray. And then I'm going to be careful with that unbleached titanium, too. I don't want this to be too dark and I already know that it's going to dry dark, but I don't want it to be too, too dark as to overpower the rest of the composition. So, whew, it's a great day today. Yeah, I'm loving this whole airbrush series. It's letting me like completely step out of my comfort zone and and just enjoy doing something totally different. I'm gonna drip a little bit on this side too. The idea is I'm hoping that this, these two dark colors will just make streaks across the canvas. All right, some more white. And it's okay if they churn. I'm not, I'm not too concerned with if they, you know, mix and churn. They're all very grayscale kind of neutral colors, so they're not gonna create a really nasty mix. And I am putting little blobs of this, stripes here and there, trying to see what kind of different effects we can get. I think I'm gonna let, since we're at the middle of our cup now, just a little bit of silver from high, let it churn through. The rest of the silver I'm gonna to use to make lines on the canvas prior to the flip to kind of I don't know if it'll work, but I'm gonna try it. I'm trying to create like veins of silver going through it. Hoping that that mist will bring those, it'll be able to push through and bring that silver line work to the surface. I think it'll work, I really do. Cause I don't plan on having a really thick layer or a thick coat of paint on this canvas. So yeah, let's put a little bit more dark. Let it churn through just a little bit, not much. We don't want it to take over at all. And same thing, I'll just let this gray churn through a little bit and just create those really cool layers, right? A little bit more of this unbleached titanium here. Now I'm not being super specific with which colors I'm using because this is basically just for the background. And then we can embellish further later on so I do want it to have a nice white or not white but a lighter hue to it I'm not trying to overpower it with a bunch of darks if I can help it I just want a little bit of accents here and there to kind of give it the layering that I want I'm excited for this one. I think it's gonna be cool. And in hindsight, I wish I would've did the, the David in this color because I feel like making it look like stone would've been so cool. 
but that is something I will go for in the future because the stencil is multi-use and I mean it came out really cool I, I love the way it came out all right well there we are so this is good let's let those I'm gonna set it off to the side real quick let the bubbles pop and then we're gonna take our silver now again I, I'm not sure if this will work or not but I'm kind of hoping that we can create some kind of cool little like veining going through oh, a little drip going through the the entire painting i mean you never know unless you try so it couldn't hurt to to give it a try and see if it does work because if it does work that's really cool all right maybe i should just drip it if you're noticing me sniffling a lot, guys, I do apologize. I recently got COVID. <laughs> Even though I am vaccinated, I still got COVID recently. And um, so, yeah, I'm painting through this cold right now because, I mean, I don't want to stop painting just because I have a little cold. Uh, but I'm sure here in a few few days I should be feeling a little bit better. The one thing I'm gonna have to do is remember where I put these lines to see if the experiment worked. I think it'll work. All right, kind of connecting some of these together. Maybe a little bit more in this middle part. There's not much silver left. There we go. All right, and then the splat is going to be right there this is exciting you guys it really is you know what maybe i'll do the same thing with this i mean i just want to know if it works or not and if it creates that really nifty like veining in in rock that'd be awesome hold on let me get rid of the stick and just use a little bit more I think it'd be so cool if it works. So there we go. I think we're set. I'm going to do a messy flop after I pop the bubbles that are sitting on top of this thing right here. All right. There's no silicone in any of these colors yet. And our messy flop is coming. <laughs> Jeez. Yep. Messy, messy flop. But it's very pretty. All right, so we pop those bubbles. Again, I'm, I apologize, I'm sniffling you guys, can't help it. And I'm also gonna flip the cup in the lines or in the direction of those lines. Hopefully that'll help the paint that's in the cup flow to those directions also. And I mean, it doesn't look like it did that, but all right. I mean, somewhat, not really. But I'm hoping it will run over the silvers and the beige or the unbleached titanium and create some really cool stuff. Yeah, that's kind of cool though. I do like it. All right, so a little bit of white going around. And I'm just covering up those other colors with white. That's fine. I want them to, I want this paint to help it roll to those. All right, and it's just like that. I think we are ready to spin this thing out. And I'm not gonna be able to spin it crazy because over on that side is wood floor and I'm not trying to <laughs> totally mess it up. So here we go, guys. Actually, yeah, all right. Ooh, all right. It is having a little bit of a difficult time getting to the corner corners but I mean, we can, we can help it a little bit. Let me stop it from spinning. There we go. Yeah, that's really cool, the different layers of color there. I like those. All right, let me just add a little bit of white here and a little bit of white over here. And 
then we can now let me make sure it's touching the other colors so it'll move and then we can just spin it out again and it should be able to take those whites that I just put on right off the edge not much of a problem that does have kind of a natural stone look to it I do like that that is cool I think I almost scratched across the top of the canvas. That would have been a poor life choice, wouldn't it? All right, so we got all this stuff is covered. Let me grab some of this gray here and touch up the corners. There are certain sections that just did not get completely coated. Like over here, there's some, some more. Oh man, I'm excited about this, guys. I think it's gonna be really good. All right, and now I'm gonna use the oil and we're gonna mist it. Now, I have to like spray it from a distance over here and then I use my hand to kind of push the air that the mist is in over the canvas. But yeah, if you just watch, you'll see cells. It's like magic, you guys. Seriously, do you see that? Oh man, and that's showing up like, ah, oh, it's exposing like so many layers underneath too. Dang. It's like if you wanted to do like chameleon cells on steroids, that's what you would do, like <laughs> with the spray. That is so cool, you guys. All right. Well, let me bring you guys down. We're gonna check it out, let it dry, and then we're gonna get on to the next step. That light mist created all these really tiny, tiny cells. And I think it actually does help sell the rock look just a little bit because it breaks it up. But it looks so cool. Like these cells are just so, so tiny. Well, let's let it dry. All right, so I have the sliding glass door open because last time I did this, the fumes are pretty bad. So if you have an enclosed space, just make sure you use a respirator. In the airbrush, I have this burnt sienna from Golden High Flow Acrylics inside. And the stencil we chose to use was Yggdrasil, which is a tree of life, essentially. But we're gonna begin with the trunk and roots in this beautiful brown color. Let me take the hat off so the bill doesn't get in the way. So I'm trying to be very controlled with this. I have a glove now, so I don't get paint all over my hands like I did last time. And there's tape blocking off parts that I don't want to get overspray onto. Some areas of the stencil are laying down really well. And I think it's cause like some parts are also bent. So some parts don't want to actually lay down. So let me go around this border really quick. I just love the delicate like feathering you can do with an airbrush. Like you can make some really like dark spots or you can make light spots depending on how long you let the airbrush sit on one area or how open you have the trigger on the air gun or the airbrush. And I do like the texture so I don't want to completely lose that. So I'm, I'm making sure to do a fairly light coat so you can still see some of that texture. And I have other browns too that I'm gonna accent this with. But just a nice dusting of the 
this brown color and maybe let it travel up into the where the leaves and stuff are going to be. All right. It's kind of a just giving it a nice green color to it. It's really all it's doing. saying some of these don't want to lay down so I'm kind of trying to go from a straight down angle because I do want it to pick up these lines sharply to do my Halloween stencil although I didn't know it was like a multi-stage uh, stencil it's just I thought it was just a one-time thing and you kind of do your shading on your own but it is not it is meant to layer multiple stencils over the work so it's gonna definitely create some more detail which that's cool Give some accents. definitely a, a lot darker than the one we were using but that's good that's what I want to break up that just big solid color with just little tiny details of giving it a little bit of depth maybe some shadow I think that looks really cool. It might take a couple layers to get it to where we want it. I don't want to saturate underneath the stencil. I just want a nice light brushing over the top. And then we're going to varnish this bad boy. Oh wow, yeah, it's like a very pretty gold, you guys. I'm actually surprised that the metallics allow, like it can go through the airbrush. I didn't think it would be able to go through. I thought it would clog it up. So then I had something else planned if it did for that. But 
seems to be flowing through just fine. Which that's awesome. Trying to be careful to not overspray onto the roots or any surface where I don't want this gold on. It's one of the downfalls to the airbrush is it can overspray pretty easily if you're not careful with it. It can go on the areas you don't want it to go. Let's just continue up here. Nice, even brushing of the color over top. In the areas that I feel like maybe I didn't quite get good enough, I can just hit those again. Like up here. When I look in the light, it looks like it could use a little bit of extra, extra love. I really want these runes to kind of like stand off the surface. All right, look at that. See, now I'm at an impasse. I love this border here. I just don't know what color I'd want to do. aiming the air gun or airbrush in a direction where the overspray won't go into the gold or the brown because it definitely will if I let it I feel like just really nice light little bit of shading while leaving that texture there would look really cool. So I do like this border. And it is part of the the mythos and myth mythology of Norse. So I want to keep the whole design kind of intact. Recently took a DNA test. Um and found out that I am 50% Irish, Scottish, and 50% European. So I really did think that I was mixed with more than that, but apparently I'm a Viking, you guys. So, as funny as it might sound, I've been recently watching a whole bunch of, like, Norse mythology and stuff, and it's it's actually pretty interesting there's a lot of parallels to Christianity in Norse mythology I'm seeing a spot I didn't clean the silicone off very good even though I cleaned the heck out of it that's okay Yeah, actually, I think the shading gray was a good idea. Now that I'm thinking about it. Because it'll, it'll fit <clears throat> with the rest of the piece. Because the whole piece is kind of a gray. And this will just be a darker gray. 
accenting the rest. really well. Holy heck. Oh, this vine also should pick it up fairly easily. Almost. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness. Okay, yeah, I, lo <laughs> I love that. That is awesome. Dang. Let me bring you guys down, check this thing out. I absolutely love this one. I think it's really cool. If you want to watch another video just like this, click the screen right now and I'll see you there.